the Tim Heal Thirsty Thursday live stream from 7 until 9 weekly. Here's your host, Tim Heal. Welcome everybody on this um, this special Thursday evening uh, live stream coming to you from uh, from the good old uh, when I can find it. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. In fact, I've been all over the place all week. Um, yeah, we're coming to you live from the Hill Manor. Sad week this week. Um, I lost my best mate. Um, the silly sod. Um, was cleaning uh, the hottest day of the year. Let's 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 put it into perspective. Hottest day of the year. He decides to go up onto the roof and hose off his um, solar panels. Um, he apparently tripped and fell and um, never recovered. So tonight we're looking at going to pay um, our respects and a tribute to to Harry. Um, to that end. Just going to run through a few slides just to remind you of who this this comedian was. I first met Harry um, way back in 1976. Um, we just the, the battalion had just moved back from from Munster and we moved to Gillingham, and uh, Harry was one of the first guys to turn up, and there was a full a small gang of us. Uh, all keen, enthusiastic motorcyclists. Um, and that's how I got to know Harry. Um, at the time, he was he was engaged to Catherine. Uh, we had a, uh, used to meet up occasionally. And then we went, we, when we got to Berlin, um, Berlin was, without doubt, the best posting the battalion ever had. Harry was married just before he went there. I was married just after we got there. We used to go out occasionally, um, and we had a great time. Uh, so, Harry, I mean, he's always been a larger-than-life character. He's, he's always up to, to some sort of skullduggery duggery and mucking about and, and having fun. Um, I love him to bits. So, these are just the, some of the pictures uh, of recent times. I mean, look, he scrubbed up all right, and... Uh, just a few weeks ago, his his daughter got married, and uh, I had the honour of being the master of ceremonies at the at the event, and it was it was a, a cracking cracking day. There he is again. I mean, poacher through and through. Like me, he should have been a pompadour, but we ended up <laughs> in the poachers, and uh, I never really looked back. Once a poacher, always a poacher, and I'm sure there's. A few poachers out there this evening that uh, that are um, they're going to wish him well. I've got uh, I've got a poacher in the wings going to come in shortly and just uh, give us Tuppence with uh, so and uh, he loves his little grandson. Oh, he's got two now, little LJ, and uh, yeah, I guess they're going to miss him growing up. And that's uh, Harry and I a, a do at, uh, at Chelsea with old Dougie May. That was a great day out. We've had a few great days out, really have. Harry does like to have a muck about. <laughs> Just give you that. So uh, there he is. That's Harry. So that's who we're talking about tonight. He's a dear friend, and um, yeah. So anybody that's out there, please, uh, please chuck your comments in. Um, I can already see a few people popping in. Evening, Richard. Um, we'll catch up uh, on the weekend. Um, so, first one up, first one we're in tonight is uh, an another great poacher. Um, evening, Tim. How are you doing? Hello, mate. Fine. How's you? Yeah, I'm, I'm bearing under the stresses yeah. of it all. Um, well, that's it, mate. Sad, sad news. I mean, I was, I was shocked. I say, short chat. Yeah, last week we in your show, and uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Harry popped in a couple of times during the show um, while he was on holiday. Yeah. I mean, that's that's how committed Harry was to the show. Um, yeah, and and he was effectively my wingman, my um, my co-host, yeah. and we were de developing a good rapport for the show, um, and, and he was getting better at it. Um, unfortunately, yeah. um, he's not going to be able to carry on. No. But do you have any great members of him? Yeah, I, you know, vaguely. I mean, I didn't really know him as, as good as you did, obviously. Uh, Berlin days. The odd time. I mean, I joined in Gillingham, uh, went to Berlin. Uh, I met him on a few dates uh, downtown, I suppose, uh, as we as you do. Yeah. Like you said before, uh, Berlin, one of the best places we've ever had, if not the best. <laughs> and uh, awesome. yeah, lovely memories, you know. Yeah, it was certainly better than London, Derry. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever met Harry. I've never met Harry since uh, on any reunions. I've not. I've not ever actually been to a reunion yet. So uh, yeah, that's on my cap. Finger out and came over then. Yeah, I know. I mean, you know, the last couple of years I mean, we were supposed to come over, and uh, the last couple of years it's uh, totally yeah, falling out with COVID yeah, and kind of scuppered us all. Yeah, isn't it? all the duties, you know. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm running the station, running the station now, uh, station manager. So uh, yeah, just uh, busy, busy, busy. But pension yeah. is not far off, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, but just I, uh, like you say, as you see, it's it's on the cards. I mean, you never know what the days bring, do you? Nobody expected Harry. Uh, yeah, and it's out of the blues. And there's that many people. I mean, I've got on my Facebook. I've got obviously, I've got my, uh, I've got the one album, which is all the past and the yeah. uh, past coaches who have passed away. And um, it's shocking how many have actually gone gone from us. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, coming over to a reunion, that's actually on the cards because I'd like to see the lads a lot of good old yeah. faces before. Well, well Duxford's before. probably the best weekend to come over. And, yeah. Um, and do the rugby the the the, the day before. So this year we're we're, yeah. we're right in the heart of uh, of poacher or tiger territory. We're playing uh, a team called yeah. Syston just outside Leicester. Yeah, okay. uh, and then the following day is obviously the the big do at Duxford. Um, so that's yeah. that's my favourite weekend of the year. I think is uh, the yeah. rugby in Duxford. And um, okay. I'd encourage any poachers out there that if they if they planning that weekend do come up. It's the 3rd and 4th of September. Yeah. Um, the, the rugby is, it's, it's not really about the rugby. It's really about sort of generating some funds for the, the, the Regimental Benevolent Fund. Um, yeah. With the, the rugby being a catalyst for it and, and you meet some great mates there and have a few beers after and, uh, and then the following day at Duxford's, yeah, it can be a bit, um, a bit hungover, <laughs> and a bit sore if you've been playing. Yeah, you know, I played for the, for the, for the vets for a long time. Um, yeah, yeah, it was, it's really good. So if if any poachers I'm, I'm, out there, I would encourage them to pop along. Oh, great! Just, I want to say hello to a few poachers that have popped their heads up tonight. There's um, young Graham Hawks. Um, we're going to be doing something hello, a bit Graham. later in the year. Um, yeah, and uh, who else have we got? Paul Kirk. Um, oh, Paul! Happy days. Uh, oh, we're honoured tonight with um, Steph. Welcome, Steph. Yeah, Steph. Hi, Steph. So uh, sorry about your bad news. Yeah. yeah. My condolences. So, we got another poacher rocked up. Are you ready to come in? Here we go. Are you, Richard? Good evening, Tim. How are you? Yeah, we're okay. We're bearing under the stresses of it all, you know. But Tim's it's, all right. Uh, <laughs> it's been a it's been a tough old week. Um, yeah. It's been it's been it's had it's had its moments. Um, mm -hmm. So we've, we we've uh, we've taken a command decision that we're going to come up to the <clears throat> Talavera dinner this weekend. So we'll see you. We'll see you on Saturday then. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Um. Yeah, so we'll, we'll we'll raise a glass for for Harry, definitely. Tim, how yeah. you been? Long, long time since. Hi, uh, hello. The flesh. Yeah. How are you? 
All right, just, yourself? Just going to bring in another poacher. Yeah, not too bad, all, all things considered. Even Frank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, Frank. Tim. Hello, Tim. Hi, Richard. Frank? Tim. Good night, Tim. Good night. Uh, I'm going to show good night. <laughs> Get down and do your press ups. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do two and a half no more like 25, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been, written, I was written off last week with COVID, so uh, I've, I've, I'm in a station now trying to catch up on paperwork. I'm in my office. Oh, no. Uh, no. So the paperwork, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm in my office. I'm in my office. Yeah, there you go. yeah get there your you feet go. in my intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being retired is just, uh, quite hard. I just, I just had a couple of lads in my office in my entry actually, but uh, they, uh, when I wasn't there, they, they, you know, they got in a bit of a, yeah, a few wrong decisions. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the bollocks like? A lot of paperwork. What's the bollocks? Bollocks like the same in the bollocks in the same in German as it is in English. It's, it's a bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, hello, Tim. How are you? Yeah, I'm bearing up, Frank. Thanks. Um, yeah. I just want to put a message out. So if anybody that can't get in, uh, that wants to ring in and have a quick say hello, um, we can we can take phone calls in on this live stream. We're that, we've got that technology. Um, mm -hmm. So if anybody who wants to do that, feel free. See, that's... Anybody that wants to, to click the subscribe button are welcome to do that. It doesn't cost you anything. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But tonight is all about um, just... Honouring Harry, um, yeah, he was a great character, and uh, I'm sure we've all got great memories of Harry doing daft stunts yeah. at some <laughs> some stage or other. <laughs> Whether it was him tearing across the the square, just about making <laughs> making a parade, <laughs> getting his motorbike locked up, <laughs> or rescuing me from the freezing cold. <laughs> he joined us in Gillingham, uh, didn't he? He did. He yeah, came yeah. from Shorncliffe. He was uh, the he 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 wasn't a junior leader. He, he was a junior soldier at yeah. Shorncliffe, and and that's where he came from with a, with a few others at the same time. Um, it was just literally as as we arrived in in Gillingham, he, he him and his cohorts turned up, and he he went into B Company um, initially. Yeah, and uh, he had that old four hundred four, and the rest of us, there's, mm. there was me in. And the likes of Danny Griffin had, had English motorbikes to start with. God, they were a nightmare. <laughs> Until we went to, to, to the Japanese, <laughs> fed up with breaking down. Um, you get a lot of money yeah. from now, though, you know. Oh, I know. A classic <laughs> British bike you would get money for now, strangely enough. Yeah, so. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah well, who makes it now? Isn't it with a BMW now? Tim. I think the Germans bought, Germans bought most of the bloody English things now, haven't they? Yeah. Well, our police, well, I remember BMW right, taking got... up a lot of it. All the police yeah. had Norton Commandos, didn't they? And then um, yeah, that's BMW, right, yeah. BMW, BMW took over, didn't they? Cool. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah well, we, BMW took we've over. We've got really. a call coming in. Uh, Let's see if I can take this. It's probably Buzz Singh and he can't get in again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, I have to put these on. Who's oh, calling right. the Golden Shot? Oh, it's not the Golden Shot. Who's calling the live stream? Hello? Hello. Oh, hang on. Your ma. Who's that? Your ma. Your ma? Yeah, your ma. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Your ma. How you doing, Mum? I just, I'm, yeah, I'm just watching Tim, and it's so lovely to see Harry being remembered by so many people. Yes. And, and I... Well, it's been, it's great that you've rung in, Mum. Just to prove that it works. We, yeah, well, <laughs> we, we can take in live phone calls. You? How's that? <laughs> can everybody hear? Your yeah. mum's watching you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> Can't get away with nothing. <laughs> I, have, I have my uses. <laughs> Somebody has to watch him. Anyway. Have, have a great, have a great remembrance. All right, thank, thanks, Mum. Yeah, 
it's lovely, lovely to see him remembered by so many people and your old mates. Yeah. All right, love. Bye, Tim's mum. Bye, Tim. Got a, got a Bye, Tim. in the wind Bye. as well. Thanks, mum. <laughs> Speak to you later. Where is my camera? Oh, there's my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it's a bit I, I, keep, I, I keep looking oh, as well. Jesus. <laughs> me, me and the camera. Me and technology. You wouldn't think I was an RSW once, would you? But there you go. There you go. Yeah, I mean, you don't... You, you, you kind of... Um, you get what people see. You, yeah. If you want to yeah. see what you want to see, you have to have the mirror on, but then it gets really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, um, so I'm going to bring in be... a couple other mates as well. Yeah. Um, here's Big Steve. Um, he's a submariner. And uh, how you doing, Steve? Evening. Evening, everyone. Um, I'll keep it. Sure, because I know whenever I come on here with my phone instead of my laptop, but sound quality goes a little bit skew with. Um, <laughs> obviously, all, all you guys knew Harry in person. I've only ever met him through the live stream. And um, without sort of saying anything that might be out of line, every time he spoke, he was always chuckling at the end of it, which is how you can know that someone who's ex mob <laughs> lived a life that was full of mischief they never got caught for. <laughs> So some of the stories that you came out with and stuff, um, yeah, it's yeah. it's weird because I think the other week back I couldn't make the live stream, but only what one or two weeks ago he was on here with you, and then for yeah. something as silly as what happened to to take someone away that was that full of life, it's just a, a kick in the nuts. And I'm so sorry to all you guys that knew him and the family that's listening. Well, if it's any consolation, he'll have a good turnout for his funeral. Where he is now, he is not alone. I can tell you that now. No, definitely not. He won't be alone. Um, definitely not. And tomorrow, yeah, you know where I'll be tomorrow morning. Tim, Tim, you know where I'll be tomorrow morning with my cleaning materials and all that. So, yeah, and, uh, I shall learn. People the see me sat too. there; they think I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> so I'm not. And uh, Harry will There's be. There's an uh, awful lot of poachers sat on that bench. There is, yeah. And Harry will be there too. So, yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. So, yeah. Submariner, I wouldn't expect anything less from Gosport. Is that right? Or have I got my area wrong? So, I don't know. Uh, my, yeah. my boat's in Gosport. I'm, I'm living near Hedge End, but close enough, only half an hour right. away. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> my my mother lived in Gosport in World War II, would you believe? So, there you go. That's my, <laughs> that's my only claim to. So, there you go. So. Just, just going to bring in uh, somebody else. There you go, Stuart. You're in the room. Hello, Tim. Hello, guys. All right, mate. Hi. Hi, yeah. This, this is Stuart. He's another mate from down here. He, he also comes in on the live stream. Oh, hang on. Um, this technology. I know what's me. going on there. <laughs> I think <laughs> let's shut that think, one up. <laughs> I think Steve Holliman was trying to get in earlier too. I don't know whether he's managed to get in. Um, I'd, I'd second what um, Steve Little said uh, about Harry. Um, I met him probably no more than three or four times in person, and then a few times on the live stream. And he just—he was always had that mischievous chuckle and grin, didn't he? Um, everything he said was followed by a little laugh. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he d he did know how to have some fun. Yeah. So, um, and we're going to do this. Um, you you talk amongst yourselves. I just I'm just going to ping. Steve, I think I'm uh, I'm probably the only civilian on here. I think you, you guys are all service, and um, <laughs> I'm a civilian. So I'm. We're all civilians. We're all civilians. I'm a civilian now, mate. Uh, you speak yeah. to yourself, I'm only <laughs> <in this> military. <laughs> um, guys, I'm going to jump off because the, the sound quality, I don't know if you can all hear it, it's all crackling. Oh, we've got, we got another me. call coming in. All right, Steve, thanks, thanks for joining in. We'll catch up another week. See you later, Steve. Steve. All the best, Steve. See you later, Steve. Hello. Who have we got? Who's, who's calling in this time? It's me, William. I've got get through on the link. Oh, you were there. I, was, I, was, I just hadn't brought you in. Do you want to come back in? Yeah, no, it wasn't working, my end. It kept lagging, so I thought I'd give you a quick call now. 
All right. How's it all going? Modern technology. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. But obviously, just to reiterate what you guys have already said about Harry, it was really shocking to see the news on Facebook the other day. So, um, and exactly that. I mean, every time I spoke to him on a live stream, I wasn't fortunate enough fortunate enough to meet him but every time I speak to him he always laughs at the end of his conversations which made some conversations really interesting um, so yeah, it's extremely sad and, and um, my condolences really Well thanks William that's that's much much appreciated and uh, I'm, I'm sure everybody um, that, that's watching and listening will have the same sentiments Yeah Yeah no but, um, you know, apart from that bombshell, um, you know, so I don't know what really to say to him. It's, it's one of those things. Um, Unfortunately, there's not an awful lot people can say. It's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's happened and um, we have to live every day as though it's our last because that one day it will be. Um, oh, yeah. And, and for... Poor Steve or Harry, uh, it, it was, um, and he'd, he'd want us all to carry on as well. So. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And, yeah. Um, so, as I was saying earlier, some of the conversations I had. You mean, um, I don't know whether your guests are familiar, but um, you know, I obviously we, we chair the committee, don't we, at the moment? Yeah. Um, and um, you know, he's always been so supportive of me, the group, what we've been doing. Um, so yeah, it's it's a big shame, but um, it is it is really nice to see so many people coming together to remember him um, and celebrate. You know, not focus on the sad part now, but to celebrate his life as it was. Um, I was watching the photographs he was putting up of his life of you in the army, and um, yeah, it definitely brought it back. Yeah, not for me, but obviously, but um, for everyone else. He's, uh, he was one of a kind, that's for sure. Uh, and so we, we've had some fantastic fun over the years. And uh, Where'd you first meet then, Tim? It out. Say again? Where'd you first meet then? Who? Harry? Jim. You and Harry, yeah. yeah. We, we, we met in Gillingham, um, I say, um, mainly through the motorbikes. And then when we came back from... London Derry, yeah, uh, not London Derry. When we came back from Northern Ireland, Belfast, in, yeah, uh, seventy-seven. Um, we went into anti-tanks together, and uh, we we served in anti-tanks for for quite a long good time. Move, good I, move. Yeah, Big I, I ended up as um, as the support company clerk in Berlin, and oh um, uh, yeah, yeah, and I and, and I looked after. Uh, the uh, the anti tanks, mortars, and recce at the time, and uh, <laughs> it was a challenge. Well, you got three and, shiny uh, C on your on your podcast here, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that <laughs> bloke over there. Cream, cream. Three three shiny seven. Yeah, yeah, Frank. seven platoon. Yeah. yeah, I was seven platoon. Yeah, three seven platoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all good fun. I was looking at mean, V-Cup Those days well. in Berlin was was pretty awesome. Oh, jeez, what a posting. I wish I'd have had a bit more yeah. more of it than I did, actually. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, I just wondered, because, you know, like like Les, like, I met Les on a train heading to the depot. He was Sean Cliff boy, I was Audrey Street boy. And we met on the train, and then that was it, you know? Yeah. Joined the battalion, I got Dick York, 7 platoon, with that. And uh, Les got Alf Todd. <laughs> <laughs> that do support. Yeah, yeah. 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 I wouldn't yeah. have had it any other way. I made a load of cock ups when I was when I first started. And when you look at people around, and you, Tim, and people around that you can yeah. look up to and that, you know. Anyway, Tim. Um, really good. Dick York helped me a lot. All right, William. I'll catch up with you in a week. Definitely, and um, thanks for letting me join tonight. No, you're most welcome. Thank you. See you later, everyone.
Bye, William. Bye, William. Bye. 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 That's William. So he's the uh, the chair of the Portsmouth and Gospel History Group. At, um, and we've got History Week coming up in, in, uh, in the first week of August. We've quite a lot going on, lots of different activities, uh, history-wise, um, talks going on. So I'm going to be involved with that as well. So that, nice uh, that should be quite a good week. Here's a question for you, Tim. Yeah. What, why why Harry? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> um, why? Why Harry? I feel I should know. Why Harry? Harry uh, would, yeah. His, think... his, his real name's Stephen Meekins. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. When, when he when he came to the, the battalion, um, somebody Dirty started Harry. calling him Harry Meekins. Yeah. Or Harry Seekums. That's oh, where, right. where the name yeah, yeah. actually came from. Uh, yeah. So mm-hmm. and it kind of stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's, he's been stuck with Harry ever since. Yeah, and it's, it's it was quite funny at the wedding because on a, on a few occasions I I referred to him as Harry, and yeah. people wondering who I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> they all call him Stephen down there. It's funny how names stick. Yeah, because yeah. Dick, Dick Dick will remember in goal for Man United when I joined the battalion was Jimmy Rimmer. Yeah, yeah Pete Laws. Pete Lawson still calls me Jimmy when we're in private. <laughs> Paul Ablett still calls me Jimmy when we're in private. Yeah, you know, from all the time ago. As soon as I said my name's Rumi, he said Jimmy. And I thought, well, I'm not going to argue. If you want to call me, you could have called me whatever you like. I wasn't going to say no. So, you know, yeah, definitely. No, I often yeah. wonder why. I, I didn't know. Yeah, Harry, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I feel just, like I should have known. Put... But, uh, just going to put a quick shout out to the people that have, uh, that have clicked the like button. So there's there's Bill Rowlands, uh, Di Hollis, Evening Di, um, Caroline Fremantle, all the way from Canada, Paul Kirk, and uh, yeah. Stuart obviously clicked it before he came in. So thanks for clicking the, the like button. So yeah. that again, that doesn't cost anything. So you click away. <laughs> Does it not cost though? <laughs> no, nah, it's free. I used to, no I used to all this free stuff. <laughs> Me and technology. <laughs> there you go. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. I've just done it. Oh dear. <laughs> I thought I had another. I dance. remember that. That that was so funny. So. Uh, at, the, at the wedding, the, the the first dance with uh, with with Harry and uh, and and so uh, Stephanie, uh, and uh, I said, yeah, 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 I get it now, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I had a few, few minor slip ups during the day. So, Part of the day. Uh, it is. It's it's what it, it, it was. It was a it was a really really good day. Yeah. Oh, Dave Gardner's uh, uh, popped up a like as well. Thanks, Frank and uh, Graham. See, you only got to ask and people will do it. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> but we've got a lot of people watching. There's a lot of people watching that's not um, clicking buttons and things like that. So, yeah. But if there's anybody who wants to join in just to say hello, there's the number on the screen. You can call into the show. We've, uh, we have the technology to be able to take in phone calls. Yeah, very good. Tim, are you on shift? Tim Hagen, this is. Are you, yeah, are you I'm, on in, na- I'm in my office. Are you on all night? Yeah, on night I'm, I'm, I am. I'm trying to catch up a bit on, a bit on paperwork. Hang about. I'll take you outside. <laughs> Hang about. Yeah, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm trying to catch up on my paperwork. It's quite a big station, actually. I didn't. I didn't oh, see right. Richard disappear, but nice and clean. It's been raining. Yeah. Like. <laughs> I didn't see him. Yeah, there you go. Hang about. The next year disappeared. That's that's a I just, station. I yeah. just caught a glimpse of Anne there. That's pretty big, Tim. It's hey, it's quite Grimsby's. big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, Yeah, we got thirteen garages. We got you know we got the big ladders and everything. And yeah. Yeah. So, uh, oh. just got to lock myself out. Hang out. 
Yeah. That's a teacher for trying to be clever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> Fuck him, Neil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, do you ever poll you or slide down or, you know? No, it's all, it's all, it's actually, we don't, we, we, we haven't got poles. It's all, it's all flat on the earth now because uh, we've yeah. got a couple of handicap. We've got a couple of wheelchair um, firemen. You know yes. The, 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 you know, we, we try and involve everybody now. We've got a yeah. couple in the wheelchairs and that, and they just yeah. come here and uh, they man, they man the, um, the radios and that, the telephones. Yeah. Exactly. So, There's a job yeah. for everybody. There's a job for everyone, isn't there? Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. And I mean, the, the two guys that do it, they're, they're both experienced firemen. One of them had a, a, a work accident and one had a car accident on the way to work. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and they just turned around and said, right, we, we, we'll built. rebuild a new house. And we rebuilt yeah. the new station, which is this yeah. one. And they made it all <laughs> level. So, uh, if somebody in What's the bottom wrong? left. Yeah. Somebody uh, bottom left. <laughs> I just, just bought Bill in. Bill, Bill's a, uh, a, a retired copper. He was a firearms officer in the Met for yeah. for a couple of years. Didn't do an awful lot. And um, now, now he's a bit of a thespian, I understand. As they do. <laughs> Hi, how you doing, Neil? What does that word mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang I'm on! From... We've got somebody. We've got somebody calling into the show. Let's see who uh -oh. this is. It's Boris Johnson. Hello, who's calling uh, the live stream? Who, who's on the Thursday Thursday live stream? <coughs> Hello, Hello. Tim Bilko. Bilko, hey, how you doing, Bilko? I'm all right, matey. Can't can't jump into the the, the face tonight. So you're on. I, I understand you're working tonight. I am. Yeah, come on, games, mate. Oh, is that fun? Do you get to see any of the show? Yeah, we're working right way through to the ten. Well, in case you have missed you, I suppose. Yeah, I'll try and come back to you. Put my face on. Okie dokie. You got the link, haven't you? Yeah, I think so. All right. We'll 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 see you in minutes few. All right, Tim. Cheers, Bilko. That's Bilko. Remember him? Martin Urand. Provost Provost Sergeant. Mm. When no. we're in uh, oh. Colchester. One of the rugby no. players. No, I didn't no. When you all was in Colchester, I was uh, posted out. So, in fact, I was posted out for a long time, actually. So, I didn't do any of Colchester. Any. Neither did I, actually. No, <laughs> I was I in Sunnybridge. <laughs> no, I didn't do any Colchester. So, no. <laughs> and then they went off to... Did they, where did they go after that? Did they go to the cellar? Yeah. They Colchester, did, yeah. we went to cellar, yeah. Yeah. I, back, I came back to Colchester, did exercise Lionheart, and then left. Not left the arm, ah. just left. Went back, went back again. So, yeah. Yeah, but you came there. back to us in cell. You came back to us in cellar, Frank, didn't you? I came back in time to meet Frank the Camel. Remember? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, where... I had the great honour. I had the, the great honour of, of Tim Hagen and what man naming a camel after me, which I thought was very nice of them. Could have picked something like. like he's a... He's got the ump on again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it, yeah. 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 He was a nice camel, wasn't he? He kept following it about. He was him, a right? nice camel. He, he, could, yeah. he couldn't have drink a lot. <laughs> he was. He could, yeah, he could, and yeah. Wop, Wop fell asleep and we gave him... Wop fell asleep and we gave him Wop's water. <laughs> it's funny how Wop seemed to know what he wanted. And that. I just I don't know. There was a bit of affinity there with him and Wop. Yeah, <laughs> can't think why. So, are you at home, Richard? I am. Yeah, busy, busy week. Oh, uh, <clears throat> blood test this morning. Yep. S uh, seeing the consultant tomorrow. Uh, Talavera dinner on Saturday. 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, all, all five grandchildren staying with us tomorrow night. All of them. <laughs> five. Yeah. Good and, luck. Uh, <laughs> tell it, tell it, tell it dinner for a rest on Saturday. I would say and so. Then, yeah. Next week, uh, next Friday, I've got an uh, annual CT scan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck with all that, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Best of luck, Richard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'd, like I said, I had some more blood tests this morning. So, yeah. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Talk, talking to Talavera then. Is Talavera gone now, Tim? Yeah. Your unfortunately. Talavera. She yeah, gone. We, we we sold her last year because yeah. I was really struggling at getting on and off yeah. the boat, and I, yeah. I didn't want yeah, to be yeah. stuck yeah. with with a boat I couldn't use. So we she took a well, well decision. Yeah, we we had some really good fun with her. Um, yeah. We say so we we went around the UK. We went up to the Baltic. We went yeah. across to to France several dozen times. Yeah. So um, we did have um, we did have a. We used her a lot, and yeah. um, I think she's gone to a good home. Yeah, that's the main thing, isn't it? I even got the honour of meeting the ship's cap, so there you go. Yeah, the ship's cap. Yeah, yeah ship's yeah. cap. Yeah, I saw oh, yeah. the photos. You, you was on the bank, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. the cat sat on the bank, didn't it? The ship's cat was there. Yeah, of course she was. The ship's cat <laughs> sat on the bench. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So, I'm clicking. Yeah. Uh, just a quick message for yes, Tony. You can uh, you can come in using your mobile. It's a quick message, somebody. Yeah. Uh, another mate coming in. Um, is it is it is another Tim? I'll remember him. Yeah, yeah, good old Tim. Never heard of him. No, no heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> What's he do? <doing? laughs> no, don't know who he is. Well, no, yeah. He, 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 <laughs> Turnco, yeah, Rupert. Top man. Yeah. The paddleboard man. Yeah, another boat, another boater. Yeah. Steph's put another message up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Riding an army it. bike. <laughs> say, <laughs> say it. Harry went on when 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 he when he left the regulars, he went off to Five Royal Anglian at um, Chelmsford, <laughs> and he yeah. became a. He, he was on their motorbike instructors there, and uh, <laughs> I guess that's that's where he took Steph. <laughs> taught us to ride one of the bikes. Yeah. Brilliant. Are you ready to come back in, Bill? There you go. He's back. You're on mute. The old Bill. Mute, yeah. That's it. I've unmuted you. Yeah. The uh, door went, and they wanted me. There you go. <laughs> it's always a... I know. <laughs> it was just oh, Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> Again? So, somebody else has popped in. Uh, Craig Morris. Oh, Craig Morris. Hey, good old lad. No, Get them boxing gloves back on. <laughs> <laughs> There's some good names popping up here. All right, well, Bill's come yeah. back in, so I'm going to have to pop back out, Tim. All right? I've got all right, a Frank. things to do for Irene. So thanks, oh. thanks for popping in. We'll catch nice up. Nice chain, bro. Catch you yeah. again soon, Frank. Yeah. Are you able I'll to see come you down in Grimsby? To the... Say again, sorry. Are you coming see down you to Grimsby the rugby and the gathering? Uh, I don't know. Straight on is that with this is a public broadcasting, isn't it? So like, this so, is yeah. Yeah, I don't. I can't really what? leave the town that much as such at the minute. So all right. Um, but but I'll I'll message you privately on that you know, but yeah. um, hopefully maybe we'll see. Um, all right, but, cheers, uh, Frank. I, I'm not sure I'll be able to do it, but uh, just to let you all know, the Mariners are up and running as well. So uh, that man in the middle <laughs> of the top might not quite like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we got. I say we could look, we could u we could use a bit of a uh, encouragement from them with England women sure footballers, couldn't we? Really, hey. yeah. Oh, we yeah, could, yeah. yeah. Even our lads, when they fall over and lose an eyelash or something, they've had it. They've lasted <laughs> to get on with it, don't they? You know, so, uh, 
Yeah, do it well. All right, mate. So there you nice go. to got, see you all. Got people okay. popping all what, over the place. What do I do Very now, different. Tim? Do I tap this? That's it. I'll, I'll, you just press the, the, the leave the light. Yeah. Uh, leave, leave. Um, that's it. Oh, we got somebody else come in. Hi, hey, Tone. How are you doing? Bike night. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of bikes. So we've got, got Tony a coming live from uh, which bike night are you at? Western Supermare. Oh, you! I think your your tinternet's a bit slow. <laughs> so this is Tony, Tony Brooks. <coughs> he, he, he's a mate of mine. Another biker, along with Harry. Yeah. So, looks like your uh, your internet's a bit slow. I'll see what I can do. No, it looks like he's uh, he's having trouble with it, so we'll just drop him down for a minute, see if he comes back in. Um, so I met I met Tony when we were at um, Chick's Hands together. Yeah. Back in uh, my propaganda days. <laughs> so we've got Tony Glynn out there watching. We've got Craig Morris watching. Let's see if uh, let's see if uh, Tony's back in. Is that any better, Tone? I think so. Can you hear us? I, I can hear you. Oh, you can hear us. That's that's good. I, can, yeah. I mean, you're a little bit jerky, so I guess that there's lots of people on their phones there tonight. So whereabouts are you? Western Supermare. Western Supermare. Wicked. Are you going up to ride to the wall in October? Um, I am, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll see you on it. I'm I'm coming up from Northampton. We're going to overnight it, so give us a check when you're there. We'll meet up. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely look out for you. I'll I'll be on a big red Ducati Multistrada. <laughs> I'll be I'll be on a big black Indian. <laughs> I've seen your bike. Da 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 da. <laughs> you probably, probably hear me before you see me, to be honest. But... Yeah. <laughs> Mine's quiet. Mine's right. I use it for lump off the neighbours. You've got to watch how you say that. I'm on a big black Indian. Have <laughs> <laughs> you got many bikes there tonight? <laughs> um, there are. There's not too many dames this end. But if you go further up, then it's. Wow. Well. I'll just maybe get a broom like. Yeah. So it so, sounds like the uh, the internet's a little bit slow, or the 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 four G is a bit slow. We're in the tech west. Which is best? So we've got an outside broadcast. So we so we normally get uh, an outside broadcast from the. Uh, the hailing bike night, um, but Mark's on holiday this week, so he's uh, he's not there. But he said he'll be back next week, and sends us all his best. So who else we got out there? No, we can't we can't hear you, Tone. Blimey. Hey, quite a few people there at Western Supermare. It's hard, it's fixed. There are a lot of people who will be there. Yeah. Unfortunately, Tone, I think it's it's a little bit untenable. Bye, mate. But thanks ever so much for, for dropping in. We'll catch up with you soon. We'll be, mate. Yeah, next, next time you're... Um, you you're available to pop on. Give us a shout. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. For because there's people been popping in, I'm just gonna pop up the uh, the slideshow again that I, yeah. I put on at the beginning, just to to show you who we're talking about. Let's uh, let's just pop him up there. Hang on. That's that's it. So there he is. That's. That's who we're talking about tonight. Stephen Harry Meekums. And uh, 
we go back an awful long way. And that's why he, he, he always had outrageous hair. He, he, he grew his hair and, and he was always getting into trouble uh, with the sergeant major for his hair. <laughs> he, he reckoned what he could get under his berry was his. But um, most of it came out of the sides. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's him and Catherine back in the day and, and more recent. He did like a laugh, did our Harry. And uh, <laughs> always one. Uh, but he did scrub up. He did scrub up well. So uh, yeah, he's got his eyes shut there. <laughs> there you go. I wonder where that is. Royal Anglian rugby top on. And there this is uh, one of his grandsons, young LJ. So I feel sorry for young LJ. He's going to miss his granddad. And that's uh, a couple of years back at um, Hospital Chelsea on their, their open day with young Dougie May. That's always a great day out. If anybody gets a chance to go to um, one of the open days at um, Royal Hospital Chelsea, it's it's a great day out, it really is. And there he is mucking about again. I don't know what he's doing with fire. <laughs> he just looks dangerous. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to say, I was just going to say that. Uh, and we're trying to get into this tiny little caravan. <laughs> We managed to get the top off then. <laughs> so that, that's who we're, we're having a chat with and honouring tonight. He's a, he was a great poacher. Um, it's just a shame that he managed to do something rather daft, something rather silly. And uh, here's a top tip. Anybody out there, if you're up on the roof, don't fall off. It doesn't end it well. So, how are you doing, Bill? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. How are you? Sorry, yeah, sorry we, to we, you lost, mate. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things, uh, unfortunately. Um, like <coughs> Harry, um, live every day as though it's your last, yeah. because one day it will be. So, Definitely. Uh, and and that's, that's the, the worst name. Oh, thanks, Tim. So Tim, Tim said, uh, "Yeah, see you, Duxford." And I'm unfortunately, I'm, I'd love to go to Chelsea again this year, but we we don't get back from holiday in time. Um, but I'm hoping to go to the Field of Remembrance um, at uh, Westminster Abbey on the the Thursday before the the cenotaph. <laughs> Here we go, we've got a bit more information on the fire pit. <laughs> hey, there you go, job for you, job for you Tim. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it's amazing how many of these how many of these calls we actually get and you turn up oh it's always good because you turn up and you get a sausage and <laughs> you always get a barbecue. Free so barbecue sausage, just yeah, well, it's you always get, but well, it would have been there, yeah. But you always get the odd free, you know, all freebies, uh, brush it under mm. the table, sort of thing. <laughs> uh, no problems. <laughs> there you go. So, I mean, it's still there's a lot of people watching that haven't clicked that like button. It's, it's funny, I mean, people are, find it really difficult to find click that like button, don't they? Yeah, and, and and for people, I mean, why why people don't subscribe to these channels? I mean, I do this every week. Not like this, but I mean, we normally have a really good chat every week on a Thursday. <coughs> Thursday, we go live every Thursday. Thursday, and uh, 
some weeks we have an open forum where we talk about all sorts of manner of stuff that comes up. Other weeks we have a we have a special like tonight is a special, um, uh, just talking about uh, our great mate Harry, and um, and the times we've had and how much of a how we're going to miss him basically. I you mean, know, he's he's he was always larger than life character. He was he, yeah. he always enjoyed life, um, and. I think his grandkids are going to miss him. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> think many are camera shy. Yeah, well, they don't have to come on. They just have to click the like button and, and, and click the subscribe button. Because it doesn't cost anything, obviously. But, um, yeah, thanks, Dave. <coughs> well, we saw Dave a couple of weeks back. Um, he was, uh, he went, was, <laughs> this is a great one. <laughs> he put a red light bonfire, <laughs> put about three cash people on it. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> uh, that sounds, that just sounds about right for Harry. <laughs> I could see him doing it as well. Uh, so, just going to change one of these. There you go. We've got, all, we've got all the technology to change things and do things on here, so it's uh, it's all good fun. Um, well, we just, uh, let's go back to this one. Put that up again. So, if anybody wants to give us a, a call, um, you don't have to be seen. You can just... Uh, you might be heard, but you. <laughs> oh. It's great that um, we've got lots of people joining in tonight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it catches the air a lot. <laughs> Uh, if you ever saw Harry's hair, I mean, he 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 he, he grew it on purpose he, just to wind up some majors up. <laughs> Air bubbles. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So there's the number if anybody wants to to give us a call and. Uh, and, and say hello uh, and <coughs> tell us about their experience with young Harry or Stephen. We're talking about Stephen, by the way, if, if, <laughs> for those that don't know him as Harry. So where you been lately, Bill? I see you've been over to LA. What's that all about? Is that uh, holiday or, or you've been doing your thespian bit? It's my... I've... I've been over three times this year. Um, two times a holiday, and one of the times was for work. Um, but it wasn't actually work; it was just meetings and contracts and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going again end of end of August just for a month. So I'm almost a tax exile at this point. But um, no, so it's, it's, I've just been so busy. I, I always keep meaning to come on your show again. But um, if I'm not, obviously. The time zones were a bit of a bugger, minus eight hours. So yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's eight hours, eight mm. hours difference. It's um, really confusing because everyone at home's uh, my brain's still on our time, even though you're <laughs> ages. so like you go, oh, it's sunny, like eight o'clock in the morning, and then you go, oh, no, it's not, it's midnight, and <laughs> yeah, it's too much, it's too much, and uh, so yeah, but I think I brought the heat back with me, so you can thank yeah, me. Thanks for that. That's right. Normally, I take the rain and it comes home with me still. But no, it's definitely I've definitely brought it back. But no, definitely got it back. Been a busy year, that's for sure, mate. Yeah. yeah. So, are you, are you, can you say what film you're going to get starred in, or just um, a bit part? I got um the 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 the, 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 the reason I went over in May that was that was for um. 
there was a TV series for Netflix I was cast in, which was supposed to come out, but then COVID happened. Ooh. And uh, so that put a bit of hand to that one. So it's just catching up with that and um, planning ahead to, to re- restart it. Brilliant. So but I'm going to be Who, the man. Who's calling in? Oh. It's Tracy Bristow. <laughs> Hello, Thank Tracy you. Bristow. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you. I'm just really, really proud that you've done this this evening. No, he was a really, really close mate, and um, it, it's, yeah. it's our honour to do it. It really is. Um, no, and, and the pictures and the stories are, are lovely. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm his oldest niece, so probably know those pictures that you brought up. I know all of them. There was only ten, <laughs> there was only ten years. There was only ten years between us. So he was ten when I was born. So um, yeah, so he was young. He was young as I was kind of growing up, which is which is weird, really. Yeah. So you've seen a lot of him about. Yeah, yeah. So I've known him. What I'm 53 now. So known him. 50, I've had him 53 years of my life. So. Yeah, and I bet he's much about yeah. every single one of them. Exactly. Never, never <laughs> a straight face. And that's the thing. It makes you laugh. It just makes you laugh. The stories that Steph, Steph sharing. If there'd been anything that was just normal, it wouldn't have sounded right, would it? No. And... No. I just wanted to say thank you. It's, it's cheered us up this evening. Oh, I'm so so pleased. And so, no, thank you. I've, I've, I've had so many messages from guys that, that pass and want me to pass on their condolences to yeah. you, you and the family. And, yeah, um, no, it's lovely. And, and hopefully, a lot of the guys will be able to come to the funeral. Yeah, oh, that'd be lovely. And, and we'll have yeah. another, we'll have another <laughs> fun day out. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. There needs to be a few things that happen because otherwise it wouldn't be him. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, yeah. you can tell it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Few things that go wrong to start with. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Yeah, falling off the roof started it all. <laughs> oh, I know. It's just, it's mad, but it's not mad because it's him. But yeah. Oh, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, if he'd gone any other way, I don't think he would have liked it. No. And uh, yeah, I mean, to do it on the hottest day of the year, what was he thinking? <laughs> I know, I know, no. and that's the thing. We're laughing because it is. It's hysterical because you just think, who, who in their madness would go up on the roof and decide that that's what needed to be done? Yeah, only Harry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But no, thank you. Just wanted to say thank you for this evening. Much appreciated. No, you're welcome. All right, take care, and I'll see you at the funeral. All right, thanks, Tracy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 There you go. There's Tracy. Oh, well done. Don't want to do that. Do that. Do that. Don't know what I'm doing with that. Anyway, we've got, uh, got young Steve joining us as well. Yep. I have to put the headphones on to be able to hear the, <laughs> the phone call coming in. That's your age, but that's, mate, um, that's Harry's niece. <coughs> um, ah. Tracy, so. Whoa. I'll tell you what, oh, yeah. it's really warm in here tonight. So I'm, I'm in the... I'm at... Um, uh, the Hill Manor. In, I'm in the library today. So... Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> There's, evening, Baz. I guess you can't get in then. <laughs> so, so Baz was having fun last week trying to come into the live stream. So for anybody that doesn't yeah. know that we we do this every week, um, we go live from from seven o'clock until nine o'clock, um, British summer time at the moment, and we'll be doing it in the winter. Obviously, uh, it'll be GMT back in uh, back in uh, September when no October when we move back to uh, back to Greenwich Mean Time, and uh, yeah, we try and have. We try and do specials occasionally. We, we've done uh, a veterans mental health special we did. We've done crime. Um, and I, I had a, a forensic psychologist come in one week who's, she she actually um, dealt with the actual real life Hannibal Lecter. Um, she was profiling him and, and working with him and her, her job is actually to to determine whether somebody is sane enough to stand trial. So she's dealt with some real, real nutcases and, and 
serial killers. Um, so she was great to talk to. And maybe we'll get her back on the show again sometime. Um, she said she'll come back. And yeah, we've had we've had all sorts of people come on for the show. And uh, yeah, it's generally generally we have a lot of fun on a Thursday Thursday. Um, and so tonight was a an unscheduled special. We were just going to have a we were going to have an open forum tonight. And I guess most of it might have gone around. Uh, the shenanigans of what's been going on with the the Conservative Party the last couple of weeks, but um, no, tonight we're talking about Harry, um, and I've known Harry for an awful long time, and uh, we've done some funny stuff over the years. We really have, and uh, some of the other guys that, that were in earlier uh, have, have have known Harry for for, for years and. Yeah, it's it's it was a bit of a shocker, shall we say? Um, did I put something? Yeah, look, I, I put a little something together earlier just to to announce the show. I'll just pop that back up. Give that a bit of a loop for a minute. So, um, yeah, so that's who we're on in tonight. Young Stephen Harry Meekums. So, anybody else got uh, anything they want to say about Harry? So, St Steve, you met him a few times. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of latency between different PCs. But, yeah, I met, I met him um, a couple of times. Once was your birthday, obviously. My retirement party, that was a fun yeah. evening. And then we all, I also met him at um, Wellington Barracks when we went up to the um, Remembrance Garden. Yeah. Yeah, he still owes me a breakfast. <laughs> 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 but like I say, he's, he's, he was such a character and full of life. You know, he's, um, he's really going to be missed, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Well, certainly, certainly by me. I, I mean, I've got well, yeah, no. for for the Thursday Thursday live streams. Yeah, I could always rely on Harry to sort of step step up to the mark um, <laughs> when I <laughs> when I needed to pop out for a pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, anybody wants to call in and 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 chuck in their tap and swift, they're welcome to. There's the phone number if you want to ring in. We've got the technology. Anybody else that, that, that wants to come and join in the live stream, um, give us a quick shout and, and I'll ping you, ping you the link to come in. Did you find it easier to come in tonight? Yeah. No. Just click, no. boom, you're in. <laughs> well, can, you see me, can you see me in the, in the waiting room, Tim, on another line? Yeah. So, uh, not now I can't, but I, I, I could. So, what are you on? Are you on your, your laptop or your, your desktop? I'm on, I'm on my mobile phone eventually because I couldn't, I couldn't get in on anything else. Yeah, I'm the same. I tried my PC, my iPad, and gave up. It's my phone now. That's odd. Really odd. Normally, it's, you can come in on an iPad, you can come in as long yeah. as you've got the link. You should be able to get straight in. So, am I back in, in the backstage again? Am I on the backstage again, there, um, Tim? No, not not at the moment. No, you're always, going to, back, you're always going to be backstage, mate. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got there's quite a few people watching. Uh, Leslie, good evening. So uh, thanks for the clicking the like button. So anybody else out there that would like to click the like button we won't object it's free um subscribe to the channel if you're on youtube and yep. uh so if you, apparently if you click a like button it, you get notified every time it comes up right hang on um let's see i'll try that can, we got no, somewhere, um, talk amongst yourselves for a second i'm just going to ping out another leak oh Uh, 
Um, right, hang on. <laughs> hang on, I'll be with you in a check. Let me just ping this link over. There you go, Baz. I'll just ping the link over to you. Um, I wonder if I can... This might or might not work. Um, slide, video, screen. Uh, let me just see if I can um, window that. just just been sent some some pictures <laughs> Steph sent some pictures of Harry <laughs> <laughs> And, and ourselves, obviously. So, there you go. <clears throat> so, uh, we could do all this sort of thing. It's all clever. Um, and this is all done live on the fly. So, anybody else that uh, wants to say hello, join in, say... Um, Call in. There's the there's the phone number on the screen. You can call in and say hello. Um, <coughs> we much appreciate it. So is that all your instruction books behind you, Tim? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how to read. No, my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let, 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 me, let me just. Uh... You must be quite well, mate. Yeah, I know. Um... Where are we? I'll just dive in the pub instead. <laughs> <laughs> dive into the bar. There you go. As quick as that. I just apparated. Uh, oh, that's something else Harry loved. Um, oh, I Harry reckon that place. Yeah. It's a great little pub. <laughs> so, yeah. Say so Harry was... Uh, was was into his Harry Potter, and uh, as well took took the family over to Harry Potter World, and uh, obviously been up to to Leavesden. So anybody that's not place. been to Leavesden, it's the place to go to see the Harry Potter stuff, the uh, <laughs> where it was all made. Big Harry Potter fan myself, got a wand and everything. <laughs> but that's nothing to do with the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but to be honest, I think you should know the history of Leavesden before you go to Harry Potter World. Yeah. That's where they so, built mosquitoes and Wellingtons during the war. And they built Rolls Royces after it. <laughs> no. No, they built the... Uh, uh, the, the gas turbines for um, lynxes, sea kings, gazelles, and the wessex, of course. So, when did it become a wasp name then? A what, what do you mean, a wasp name? Studios. Oh, that would have been 1990s, around there, I guess. Actually, no, later than that. It must be, yeah, in the 1990s at some point. I've left by them. They filmed the um, some of the newer James Bonds there in the 90s. The, very, the, the last James Bond they filmed there, well, the first, sorry, the first James Bond they filmed there oh, was the one with the tank, the tank chase. I see most of them, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 it's not. There was one that's particular, uh, Goldeneye. Right, yeah, Goldeneye. Goldeneye oh, yeah. was the first one that was filmed there. Mm. Yeah. I, I remember I worked there, and um, this one of the sound stages we used, they have a plaque on the door of what's been previously filmed. And obviously, yeah. I remember looking at it and reading it, thinking, oh, this is where they filmed the James Bond. I can't remember which one for the life of me it was, but 
Goldeneye. Yeah, the first one. The first one was Goldeneye. Mm. I was there two weeks ago, and a reunion, oh. <laughs> and a couple of my pictures were on the wall. A huge. I used to be a photographer. Right. And on the wall, with in their historic display, was some of my pictures that I took when I was at Rolls Royce. Oh, nice. It was good. There's a whole list of films they've done there. It's, it was quite amazing when I saw you when you see all these films. And I can't talk to you about the ones that were there because we had to sign an NDA. <laughs> well, the ones that they're making at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you remember the old Wavell Barracks, Tim, in, in Berlin? Wavell Barracks, yeah. The, the Wavell in Spandau. Well, that's yeah. a film studio now. It's the, it's the, uh, for, for the, uh, the German television, uh, RTL. That's now oh, a right. film studio. Yeah, the, the, because, the, you know. The, yeah, because the prison turned into, in, a, in, into a supermarket, didn't it? Yeah, they turned it into well, it turned into a naffy first. They built a new naffy there, the family's naffy. And when the family, obviously, when they when the uh, under Berlin Berlin back over to the Germans, that they uh, they they put a German supermarket in there. But I think that's gone yeah. now. Yeah. What was that? Lidl's. Yeah, Lidl. Yeah, yeah, Lidl. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, but so I mean, across Berlin. the road from it. Yeah. It's the old Bamberg Studios, they call it now, I think. Ah. And quite a bit of filming in there. They had the, the German version of Within These Walls, sort of thing, that, that sort of thing. Yeah. They turn it, into a, turn it into a big prison for Within These Walls, sort of thing, you know. So, Steph's just put up another message. <laughs> Past in his chair. That wouldn't be speculative, eh? This is right. Yeah. Everybody can do that. Yeah. Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, he's, he's had a practice at it before then. Third time lucky. <laughs> yeah. Through the roof. <laughs> you'd have thought he'd have learned his lesson, wouldn't you? The signs were there, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do they not teach the infantry health and safety? No. Cats, they no. <laughs> <laughs> not back in our day, anyway. <laughs> I had to learn all that in the fire brigade. What, what you got? Yeah, infantry. Oh no, yeah. Come on, we'll start on you. Oh, God. So if it, if it happened, it was Harry. It was always Harry. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> 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 was he was better off going out to work. <laughs> I'm paying someone. Actually, Tim, you should have told him. It's better to pay someone to do the jobs. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what I do. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> you missed a can't complain, then, can't you? Um, <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> There you go, Steph. So, yeah. Uh... <laughs> so, I'll be back. I need to get a top up. So, we, 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 we're getting some people laughing. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just drop me down out of the way. So, oh, I'm on the old Adam's Ale at the moment. However, whoops, shouldn't have done that. I'm here to the Highland Spring. Here's one I, I've I've lined up for later. I've got a glass of port. So, uh, 
as you do. Yeah. So, <coughs> so hopefully, um, I think, uh, what's this say? Da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I think Steph's going to join us shortly. I'll just ping to the link. So, talk, talk to the devil, and the devil that shall appear. Right. Evening, Steph. How are you doing? I think Steph's going to join us. Evening. I'm good, thank you. Well, considering, but we're obviously laughing about the silly things that Dad's done. Evening, Steph. How are you doing? Right, hang on. I'm, I'm getting yeah, feedback from the TV. <laughs> so I'll just <laughs> We was just um, talking about what Auntie Christine said. You said at least he was safe at work, and then we said, but no, he wasn't. Um, <laughs> it just everything he did, he just crashed and banged them. <laughs> Once he yeah. forgot that he put his tail lift down on the back of the lorry and was pulling the cage, and him and said cage went <laughs> over. The like, cage landed on top of him. One of the Tesco staff was like, oh, my God, and was trying to get the cage off of him. He's like, it's all right, I'm not dead, it's just the cage. And then she was oh, my God, I can't believe it. He just oh, lost out of the amount of things he's done. He's just yeah. always up on the roof. Yeah, but, why does he keep going up on the roof? Oh, the the thing is, you, as you know, he was fearless. And he just, he because he'd had so many incidents, he just thought he was invincible. And, that, you know, it would just be yeah. one more fall and... He'd get back up and we'd all laugh about it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but well, yeah. We've got a couple of other people to bring in. Evening, Valletta. Oh, evening. Hello. How Hello. You doing? Good day. Yeah. Good day, yeah. Good day, darling. Come, yeah. Comes from the, uh, the poachers family. Hello, yes. So, welcome to the old Thursday, Thursday live stream. Mm hmm Yep. Yep. Yes, and I have got Aussie in me. I was born in Australia, but I've been here longer than when I've lived in Australia now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very difficult when rugby's on. I support both sides. <laughs> you see me from run running from one end of Twickenham to the other. <laughs> well, you know what? When England's playing Germany, I only support one side, and it's not Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Spot on there. Yep, definitely. I'm just going to drag in a couple more. Here we go. Ooh. There we go. This is the most we've had so far. Seven people on the screen at once. Oh, so wow. This is going to take some controlling. <laughs> <laughs> we believe so in you, Steph, You've got how, how was Harry Potter last night? Oh, it can sit. We, we said we were going to cancel because it was my wife's birthday yesterday and I'd planned as a surprise to take her to the Harry Potter studios at Watford. But mum said that dad would want us to go and not put our lives yeah. on hold. So I had to yeah. keep it together yesterday. Um, had a bit of a moment because um, Hagrid's bike, when um, me and Charlotte were younger, we all went as a family. Um, dad's a big kid. Um he was always egging us on to do stuff. You don't um, say. No, and um, I saw the bike and there's a picture of us three messing about on the bike, like pretending to go fast and stuff. So I had a bit of a moment, but I knew he was there with us. But it's, it's a beautiful place and I go quite a lot, yeah. big Harry Potter fan. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it was actually a good day and we had afternoon tea um, and we raised a glass of Prosecco to Dad he would have not approved because he loves Baileys. He'd have been like, where's your Baileys? But obviously that wasn't available. <laughs> so he just had to make do with the Prosecco. Um, but no, it was a really good day. And um, one our server actually was called Steve and he really reminded me of Dad. He was such a talker and he was talking about really random things and I just chuckled. And I was like, yeah, Dad, Dad loves to talk to a stranger. Just everyone around the estate knows him because he'll stop and talk to them and... Yeah, he just just love to hear people's stories and talk and have a laugh. We certainly did. So, so you all went off to uh, Harry Potter World in uh, Orlando 
couple yeah, of years we ago, did. didn't you? I think, I think, I mean, Harry Hogwarts in America was absolutely awesome. Um, they've really thought of everything. Um, well, I think Dad's highlight was the Minion ride. We've got a picture of him downstairs <laughs> with his picture next to the Minions. Absolutely loved them. Yeah, I was trying to work out which was the Minion. <laughs> yeah. He, um, we, we all spoke earlier and um, Anne, my brother-in-law, Leroy, my cousin Ross, there's a suit that you can get with tiny little Minions on it, like a trouser suit jacket tie yeah. they're gonna wear those i've bought dungarees and a yellow t-shirt so i look like a minion because you know dad didn't want to have boring colors and i think he'd find it really funny that we was all dressed up as minions so that's what yeah. we're gonna do yeah he was a bit of a minion <laughs> honestly he even ca he had two two or three fluffy little minions that he had in lanyards around his neck and they used to go with him everywhere in his lorry. They'd be tucked in his hiveys. <laughs> but yeah, always oh, a kid at heart. Absolutely. He, he, he was suffering from the same problem that I've got, the same syndrome. <laughs> Not realising yeah, you've yeah. grown up. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's called the Peter Pan syndrome. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got, no, got no intentions of getting a cure for it. No, and you know what? And that's what we all... We all love about him that he'd have a laugh and just I was saying to mum, there's so many funny things that have happened over the years and it would only happen to us. And unfortunately, I do take after dad in the uh, disaster area and um, a very accident prone. <laughs> um, but so many things have happened. And when you try and think of all of the funny things that have happened over the years, because you couldn't write it, you really couldn't. I know when Anne and Leroy have heard stories that we've said of things that have happened over the years, they're just like, before we was like, nah, but now that we know you all, we know that we absolutely anything can happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that's, that's just, just to put it in perspective, that's Le Leroy that's not black. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, or White Leroy. White Leroy is his uh, Instagram tag um, and TikTok because people obviously assume that yeah. he isn't white. So, but yeah, absolute star. Um, we obviously told LJ earlier, and as much as he can understand at five, he just said, yeah. "I'm really gonna miss Granddad." So yeah, yeah, he will be missed. He will be. And, yeah. Um, but but it's, we've got it's, lots of funny we've, stories to... Yeah, that's we, the thing we've, got, just, we've got a lifetime of stories of him. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a shock and, you know, we're all still coming to terms with it. But in true dad style, it was just, just absolutely absurd. And, <laughs> yeah, what can you do? You've just got to kind of laugh at it because that's what was eventually going to happen, I guess, with everything yeah. else that he'd done. But, yeah. So let's just bring Tim back in. <laughs> Fell out there a bit. It's all right. it's German technology just cut me off. Nah. <laughs> I'm back on now. <laughs> well, nothing to, be do to do with it being out in the sticks. Say again? No, he's on nothing the West Coast. Nothing to do with being out in the sticks. Of Germany. I'm in Germany, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not in the sticks a minute. I'm sat in my office. It's nice and warm. <laughs> Catching up on all the paperwork. You know, five days off with COVID and now I've got to catch up on everything too. <laughs> <laughs> Perks of the job. It's yeah. translating all your data from German to English. That's what's causing it. <clears throat> it probably is, actually, yeah. You wouldn't be surprised. But I, I don't need it translating. I shall be, you know, do it myself. <laughs> yeah. So I guess you. Thing is, I've, I've got two piles. What? Because I'm I'm right on the Danish border, so I've got one pile of of reports in Danish and one pile in German. And the Danish ones, they're the ones that give me the problems because I I know I order beer in Danish and things like that. But uh, when I get these piles, it just. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's shit. I yeah. I thought your tag said Lowestoft. <laughs> Again. I thought your it does say Lowestoft. It does say Langstoff, Yeah. Lowest off. No, Lang, <laughs> Lang, Lang, Lang he is in lowest off. He's got an antenna. It just looks as though he's in Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually 
I'm actually a paramedic. I'm actually a paramedic in the fire brigade in Langstone, but I'm actually run the both both stations. It's two stations. Oh, right. so I've got them both on my here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you was in day. Norfolk there, yeah. or Stafford, wherever it is. Where is it? It's it's right on the Danish border, up north North Germany. Yeah. Yeah, on the North Sea coast. Wicked. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah, I can imagine. It doesn't beat Berlin, but it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Craig. Looks like Craig's going to uh, be watching. He's going to go the walk dog. the dog. <laughs> Legs crossed. Not Listen, stop, not stop, stop staring. <laughs> yeah. Wicked. I Craig's yeah. Craig's a love. Me and Craig, me and Craig swapped many punches in the boxing ring. <laughs> we, we was both the same. We were both the same weight in, Ber, in in not in Berlin, but in in London, Derry. Yeah. So we, yeah. Many a many a good many a good fight. <laughs> The bugger beat me once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I couldn't tell a lie. Uh, so <laughs> give, so yeah. it, it's my 40th birthday in November. And true dad style, the other day I was sat in my bed just going through Facebook as you do in the morning. And I got a notification from dad. So I went into it and I was like, Stephanie Meekham surprise 40th birthday party. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then I mean, he accidentally invited me to my own surprise birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't think he's meant to do that. So I went downstairs and I was like, uh, Dad, do you know that you've invited me to my own surprise 40th birthday party? Mum was like, Stephen, I can't believe you did that. And I was like, well, she's going to go now. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> it's the same thing. all over. How, how, <laughs> what happened in Belgium when I was in hospital and Anne asked him if she could have my hand in marriage. When I first come round, I was on a lot of morphine and didn't really, wasn't really aware of anything. And he took my hand and he said, someone's asked to take your hand in marriage. And I that, now I realise what was happening. But at the time, I didn't. And mum and Anne were like, stop. What are you doing, Chop? And I was like, "What? They're one of the doctors." <laughs> and I was like, "No, don't worry, don't worry." <laughs> he, he just, he just loved everything and just surprising people and was very thoughtful and just the thought of you know someone having a party and it being fun. He just couldn't contain his excitement and yeah, accidentally <laughs> spilled the beans. But... So invited everybody, including you. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was really confused. I was like, "What?" <laughs> and then I fell into what had happened. I'm like, "Oh dear!" <laughs> I'll just pretend <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> oh. Uh, but so Harry was always in trouble with Catherine. Always, <laughs> he was always doing stuff, and she was always picking him up for it. <laughs> That's just he another thing. It was the secret eater. You, we used to have to hide stuff because we'd buy it. We'd think, oh, I fancy that. And then you'd go to get it and he'd already eaten it. <laughs> 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 we found loads of uh, sweet wrappers down the side of his part of the sofa. I was like, oh, yeah. That's a secret oh, stash, yeah. did you? Yeah. <laughs> my, my boss once bought me a massive box of Lucky Charms from America and it had been in the cupboard for months. And one morning I woke up and I was like, oh, I fancy some Lucky Charms today. He'd opened and <laughs> eaten the whole box. <laughs> was like, that, that was a prison. He was like, oh, well, you know, I just had a little bit. No, you ate the whole box. <laughs> so we had to start putting our names on stuff. Stephen, don't touch. Did that make any difference? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, bless him. I mean, I don't, oh, I didn't know Harry, um, but I, he sounds like he was a very lovely and funny chap. And it's really lovely that you've got happy memories of him. Um, I'm really sorry, you know, that he's passed, but um, to have 
to just have funny memories of him is lovely. And I had that with my Uncle Barry. There's still things now that come up and you just laugh, you know, and you think, oh, wow, you know, that's so silly to remember him by. But it's funny and it's good. It's not sad. Hmm. Yeah, like yeah, I said, you probably did so meet many. him one time at the, at the gathering, or one of the dudes we went to. Oh, did it? Would I, I don't remember Tim. I mean, I, I've my memory's not as good as it was, um, but uh, I might well have done. Hmm. You mean you drank too much? I always remember Dad telling me yeah, when another time he'd been reprimanded in the army for doing whatever, and I think they'd done something to one of the tanks, and they were. Oh, you've got to, to be continued. Yeah. No worries, Baz. We'll catch you another time. Oh, I'm so back. Baz, Baz is um, having a trouble getting in. so I should be back. We'll catch up with him another time. You're back. Right, lovely. Um, yeah, so Dad had been told with another guy that he had to spray a, a tank because they'd done something. And while one of the top bosses were about, they stood by him and Dad sprayed his shoes and then just carried on spraying and pretended like nothing happened. And then they looked down at their shoes and they're like, Megums! <laughs> that, that, was, that was Sergeant Major Ainsworth. Oh, was it? He was always, yeah, he was always in trouble with him. And they, they were painting the Land Rovers and he was down a spray boat. And <laughs> well, that was in Gillingham, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, because he, 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 he was he was RSM he was RSM in Berlin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so he, he Alan was Ainsworth, major in yeah. Berlin uh, in in Gillingham. Yeah, he that's right. Yeah, telling me about the time his bike got impounded. He um he said he'd been home to visit mum at the weekend, and uh, he'd got caught up in traffic going back. And as he turned into the parade green everyone was already out and they'd been called early so he pulled a wheelie across the parade green put his head down quickly threw his bike in the racks and joined in and uh whoever it was was like meekums i know that was you but because he couldn't prove it he impounded his bike in the prison <laughs> how can you get stuck in traffic on a bike bless him I don't know. Uh, knowing Dad, I mean, I remember once we had a school fate and Dad brought one of the drops vehicles down and I was only young at the time and I was driving it around the school field before anyone got there. But um, he had one of the bikes with him because him and someone else, I'm not sure who it was, used to do rides like with um, like the kids and stuff. And uh, we'd run out of something and he said, oh, I'll pop to Summerfields. And I kid you not, he would got there and back in about five minutes and gone in there shopping. And I was like, how fast were you going? It's like about four miles down the road. <laughs> he just loved it. And he loved the bikes. That's why when, like, we, when I said when we was at Colchester and I was just there with him and um, Karna, German Shepherd, um, said he said, do you want to learn how to ride a bike? I was like, uh not really thought about it. He's like, come on, jump on it, it's fine, it's easy. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, we used to, when we were in Gilligan, we used to, in the evenings, we used to go down to, there, there was a cafe down in Gilligan that we used to meet up at and, and have a coffee there and then we'll, we'll all sort of race off to Farthing, um, Farthing Corner Services up on the, the A2 um, and have another coffee there and then we'll race back down and uh, we were racing all over the place. I mean, there, there was a there's a, 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 a little gang of us that all all on motorbikes at the time, and uh, yeah, we did have some fun. And uh, there's another lad that had a Suzuki GT380, and uh, Harry was racing him home one time, and and they got to Bluebell Hill, and, and, and Harry just with his 404 just left him. <laughs> Do you know, one of Dad's motorcycle helmets should still be in the police museum in London. So I'm not sure when it was, but he was, yeah, he was coming home one day and um, he went over Humpback Bridge and someone had stopped their vehicle literally just over the Humpback Bridge and he didn't see them and he literally went straight into the back of them. Um, he had no, like, he literally had no cuts or scrapes or anything like that. And the policeman went to pick up his helmet to hand it to him, and it actually cracked in half as the policeman picked it up. It was actually in the, uh, yeah, museum. Outrageous. 
Yeah. And we got away with an awful lot. <laughs> yeah, he did. I always say yeah. I'm like a cat. I've still got a few left, but yeah. Yeah. So, so how long did you live in Colchester? Uh, that so we've always lived in Chelmsford, um, but Dad just used to travel around everywhere. After Mum and Dad came back from Berlin, um, yeah, she said obviously you know go and do what you've got to do. I'm going to stay here like where all the family are and stuff. So Dad obviously used to go away all the time and stuff, but we've always stayed in Chelmsford. I did actually live in Colchester for a little bit because I was working there, but um, Tim Mann's away on on police business um, at the Commonwealth Games. Um, she oh. won't be back until Monday. Mm hmm Okay. So, yeah. yeah, I think I think that's where Bilko is tonight. Oh, um, yeah, possibly. In earlier. Where's he's Bilko here. based, do you know? Um, he's up in Northampton. Oh, okay. So he's... he's um, But he, he, he's, he's got his own security business and, and does all these high-profile... Ah, uh, um, yeah. Security jobs. So uh, that's probably where he's at. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I know there's a lot of officers down there at the moment. Yeah. So, it's all good fun. And so, <laughs> the way Dad would have wanted it. <laughs> it's always having a yeah, laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all have a, a little moments, but um, I mean, re remembering Harry is, uh, uh, and some of the stunts that we got up to together. Uh, and some of the places that we've been and some of the stuff that we've done. Um, I think it's the great, great fond memories. And um, he will be dearly, dearly missed by an awful lot of people. Um, some of us a little bit more than others, but um, anybody that Harry came into contact with, uh, they, yeah. he certainly left his mark on people. Yeah, for sure. So I said... Me and Dad always used to get up around the same time for work. We originally moved into here to save for a house, and yeah, because of COVID and stuff, we've still been here. But it's it's great. We had a great time during lockdown. We all had to self isolate when we got COVID, and worked our way through the alcohol cupboard. And <laughs> as you know, Dad's, Dad's never been a really big drinker, and I think Anne's t turned him into a secret alcoholic. They they would have like beer nights. <laughs> Anne, Anne would be sat downstairs. She'd be like, "Steve, do you fancy a beer?" <laughs> and then they'd be sharing beers together. And he'd come back and be like, "I've got these new ciders. Shall we try them?" And, um, yeah. <laughs> Terrific. But um, we normally get up at the same time and we have chats in the morning just about whatever. Um, yeah, just and talking about um, we. I'm a lorry driver now um, and uh, we'd always have chats about lorry driving and um, things that had happened during the day and stuff. And then mum and Anna would be like, should we talk about food or something like that? Because I think, <laughs> think we're missing out on the conversation. <laughs> but yeah. So, so your mum's just popped in that uh, even co-op, oh, yeah, the co-op sent the card. <laughs> they did. So he's, he's obviously made a mark on the co-op. <laughs> <laughs> right, so when it, you know when you're sitting there and you think, oh, I really fancy something nice, and Dad would go and disappear. We're like, where's he going? And he'd come in with yummies. Always had yummies. Stashed up somewhere. <laughs> Whenever he fancied something, he'd be like, I've got some yummies. So he's, he's obviously nipped round to the... To the wash name then. Yeah, cool. yeah, always going around the co op. Or mum would be like, Oh, I need to get this. And like, Oh, I'll be back in a minute. So he'd walk around to the co op. <laughs> Didn't take the car then? Oh, no, it's literally about 400 <laughs> metres. I'd be, I, Dad was very good. He did used to walk everywhere. When um, he when he was having problems with his shoulder um, and he was having to go to Springfield Hospital, he'd walk all the way from ours to there. And it was. I don't know, probably about eight, nine miles, and he'd walk back again. Quite happy just to walk everywhere. Hmm. He's a fast walker. That's the infantry I'm... soldier in him. <laughs> yeah, I think so. When <laughs> I remember when he had to have the ligaments done in his knee, and he was on crutches and in a cast, and he would just walk so fast on these crutches that no one could keep up. We'd all like be running behind him, trying to keep up. And Mum would be like, Stephen, you need to slow down. You're on crutches. How are you walking so fast? You can go, you can go quicker on crutches. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was the right throw at them. So is he, is he giving you some really good tips about lorry driving? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, probably not any that I could use and probably end up being arrested. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Daddy, don't take no crap. <laughs> yeah, don't don't do what he did with. Yeah, no, no, no. Learn that early. The transport door. managers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The supervisors. He was always having a ruck with somebody over something. The thing, and I got it. You know, I'm I'm obviously not services and obviously growing up like with dads and stuff like that i see it you know people are putting their lives on the line to go and do whatever they've got to do for the country and then when someone speaks to him in a way and they're like hang on a minute like don't talk to me like that i, I do a lot um it's hard to take and you know dad he just he couldn't bite his tongue and if he felt yeah. something was wrong, he was going to let you know and it weren't going to be pretty. It was going to be pretty blunt. And people don't like that. We've got a generation of snowflakes and people were just like, "I, I, what? You can't talk to me like that. Yeah, I think I can. And I will. And that's just who he was. Yeah, mm. he was pretty blunt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember. If he thought even, it wasn't even right, with he us was sometimes, um, I remember, see, I laugh about it now. Um, I just finished work and uh, it was when my auntie Loud passed away and my, my phone rang and I was like, oh, hi, Dad, how are you doing? He was like, I'm just to let you know your aunt Loud's died. Okay, speak to you later. And I was like, what? <laughs> but that's just, he just had to say everything like literally. And I was like, uh, okay, I don't really know how to process this, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, see, it was mum's job. We um, we I worked for mum uh, and dad for a little bit uh, when we did cleaning, and um, our manager uh, who owned the company, Mrs P, was German, a very 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 strict lady, and um, obviously we know that dad, if he doesn't like anything, is gonna put you in line, and mum on several occasions at office meetings would have to tell him to shut up, kick him under the table. <laughs> just but you know, Dad, there was just what if he had something to say, he's gonna say it come hell or high water. There's no stopping him. And yeah, um in the yeah. end mum used to always have to sit between him and just give him the death stare because like that's one of her tricks. You don't even need to say anything. You know as soon as you get that stare you're in trouble. Even like at nearly forty, if I get that look I'm like, oh mind, mind you, Harry was always in trouble. It was just a depth look. <laughs> On a, you just cut yeah. Just uh Yeah. You gotta love him. You have because you did, or you honestly just couldn't make it up. It would. It's honestly some of the stuff that's happened. People would be like, "Nah, that's too far fetched. You're making that up." But it was the truth. It just, <laughs> just yeah. He did, did have some. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. He was always knew he was right when he had. If he was having a ruck with someone, he knew he was on the right side of it. And uh, there was no backing him down. Oh no! And, uh, yeah, he got I mean, him into me a lot of him, trouble. We we argued like cat and dog because you know obviously it's not something that you want to admit. It, but now I'm pretty proud of it. I literally am my dad, and we clash <laughs> big time. But that didn't change the way that I felt about him, and you know, yeah. just the laughs that we all used to have. And, you know, most people would think, you know, being back at home at my age, but we love it. We're, we're always doing stuff together and having laughs and, you know, it's just just been a privilege to have more time. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so true. <laughs> Cruz is he'd be talking to oh he he came to us one morning and he said oh he said I've had to look around the engines we're like what he was like oh yeah I was talking to Jose and he said come on come and have a look at the engines he's like they're so clean they like clean all the time he'd be like oh I've been talking to the pool guy he literally uh, it must be an army thing he'd only sleep for about four hours at a time so he'd be up early doors and he'd be out chatting to all the, the workers who were getting ready for the day and. Yeah, he was always going That's out. That's because he had to go out for a pee in the night. Yeah, and get back to sleep. <laughs> yeah probably. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to us all, you know. It does, it does. I was forever hearing him go, ooh, ooh, <laughs> running, I need the loo. 
<laughs> so, Valletta. Oh, God. Yes, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> You've you got a little birthday coming up soon, haven't you? A little one. Yes, I have. Yes. Yeah, 60 this year. Big 6 oh. Whoa. I know. So I don't normally worry, but this year I'm going to um, push the boat out. And I've got all mm. my children in one place. Uh, so for a change, they're all going to be together. So they're all coming, which is lovely because they're, you know, all off here, there and everywhere. And I might see one of them and then the other one. Um, I go and see my youngest daughter once a month and look after my grandson, which is lovely. Um, but yes, yeah, be good, be interesting. Brilliant. Brilliant. Are you going Saturday night? Yeah. Lovely. So, so we're going to be there with, with, with Harry and Kath, but um, ah. Harry sort of scuppered that slightly. Yeah. He was really oh. looking forward to it as well. But, Oh, but we're going to go and um, we're going to go and raise a glass or two for him. So, Definitely, uh, I've got, got one here ready to go. Definitely. Hmm. Have you finished your port yet, Tim? No. Finished it? No, no, yeah. I only just started it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, in fact, yes, I have finished that one. I have. It you. was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't wait. She's talking about the bottle, not the glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a big bottle as well. well Is it any particular well, port, Tim? Well, Anne, Anne and Steph bought me a really, really nice bottle of uh, uh, port for for a little job I did for them at the wedding, and um, yeah, I did uh, I did polish it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's there for. I'm I'm a, I'm a sucker for for a decent port. <laughs> That's all right, Kath. No. Oh, yeah. We've got um Yeah, Richard might be back in. That'd Lovely. Nice, just to finish off. So we've got about ten minutes left of the show to go. Um I think it's been a, a success tonight. I think uh, we've had some really nice comments. Um People dropping in, saying hello, good boy. Um, to a very special, special friend. It's been incredible, the amount of messages and, you know, even people that we've not been in contact for a few years who have, I mm. don't know how they found out, but we've been getting messages, cards, flowers, left, right and centre and, you know, hearing all these stories, you know, about my dad and stuff and... It's just, you know, we can't ask for any more. He was a great guy and it, I'm just glad that everyone else saw that and and loved him just as much as we did. He he was he he was a great man. He was he was a true, true poacher. He should have been a pompadour. <laughs> the same as me, I should have been a pompadour. Uh, but we ended up in a poachers and, and unfortunately once once you're a poacher you're always a poacher. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't a Pompadour a firefighter? <laughs> no, no. Pompadour's a a French colour. Uh, it, it's something that they nicked off the frogs uh, as a battle honour, and that's that's well, how they got called the Pompadour. If you look at the dictionary, a Pompadour is a firefighter. <laughs> all right. Well, they probably did fight for. So you're, you're fight better off all day poacher, mate. <laughs> yeah, poacher by name, poacher by nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually got caught at it once. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the one that cooked the eggs in the morning, Tim. Yeah. It's uh, to go with a with a salmon that I borrowed. <laughs> <laughs> How can you borrow a salmon? <laughs> well, I, I, I thought I might give some of it back. <laughs> you know, when you're just sitting on the river and then all of a sudden the salmon drops in, you're like, oh, yeah, thank yeah. you, that's just mine. Just popped out. Find us keepers. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite a river. It was one of these sort of, well, it, it wasn't actually a salmon, it was a trout. It was an ornamental lake. <laughs> yeah, it was sort of a, a trout lake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
I was I was lucky to get away with that. <laughs> but, did, uh, did you have a rod or like, use your laces or? No, it was the bang that. No. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> you shot it, didn't you, Tim? <laughs> no, no, I use a flash bang. <laughs> oh, Dad loves a flashbang. And a net. There's still a... Yeah, that would have got a few. There's still a yeah, hole down few, the road but... from us. He was showing off to Mum when they first got together and set off one in the middle of a housing estate and he blew windows out and stuff. And <laughs> I shouldn't be incriminating him, but. Um, yeah. And then the police were all asking questions. He's like, I don't know, I saw three men run that way and it was in like the <laughs> local news and everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a massive crater. Oh, yeah, they're dear. not full. No, it literally, they said they uh, the newspaper was like huge gas explosion in Chelmsford <laughs> Estate. <laughs> oh bless him! And it's just a fl- thunder flash. Yeah, <laughs> but obviously he took off running because he was very good at running and left mum for dust. He's <laughs> like, <"Dear." laughs> Because it was it was quite um, easy to get hold of the old thunder flash when you're leaving the ranges. Oh, was it? <laughs> oh, we've got. Uh... So what's your mum said? <laughs> oh, that's Auntie Christine. Hi, Auntie Christine. Yeah. And uh, and Tracy as well. No, yeah, it's been my beautiful. pleasure. Absolute pleasure. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's very, I mean, it's very careless of me. That's that's the second best mate I've lost. Um, I hope it's not habit forming. <laughs> no. So do I. I've been Stay blessed with quite a few mates in, in my time. At, um, yeah, to go around losing them like that is, is not clever. It's not funny. Funny careless, if you ask me. <laughs> Absolutely, Claire. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I'm going to stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Harry is uh, uh, will always be part of uh, part of my memories uh, and in my heart. And just uh, Harry, I know you're looking down on us. We'll uh, we'll have a drink for you on. Saturday. Yeah, Empty Jimmy. Yes, Harry. Go bless you. Oh, people are dropping in and out like it's going out of fashion. <laughs> Too much movement. No worries, Dick. Well, I'll see you Saturday evening. But thanks for joining in earlier. Absolute pleasure. And but let us back. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm not sure. To... I'm on my phone, so I'm not very good yeah. at these things. But uh... for, for some reason, it's people who are having to come in on the phones tonight. Normally, you come in on a, a on an iPad or or on a computer. But for, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's. Shall, shall I tell you what it is, Tim? Go on. I'll switch something I'm on, off. I'm, I'm on my tablet now. It's working fine. The, it's a picnic problem. Picnic. picnic. Yeah, picnic. that stands for problem. It stands for problem <laughs> in chair, not in computer. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. that's, that sounds about right. I was logging on to the link for about two weeks ago. <laughs> that's no wonder you couldn't see me. Ah, that, that because I. Will... Yeah. Because I don't like doing it on my phone because it's a bit of a pain. So, yeah. um, but when I went onto the um, my my tablet, it was it was the old message from about two weeks ago, <laughs> <laughs> and it hadn't updated itself to the new message for this yeah. week. Yeah, something like that. But um... I, I used to be an IT manager for a career. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. That's where the picnic comes from, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're coming towards the end of the show. It's, uh, we'll be we'll be back live again, same time, same place next week. 
Um, if anybody wants to to come and join in the fun, I don't know what we'll talk about next week. I'm sure something will come up in conversation. <laughs> we'll try to hold it together. <laughs> but, mm. um, oh, it's lovely to meet you all anyway, even yeah, under these circumstances. Well, yeah. yeah, I've got to go and put the chips away now. I think you should bring Harry's daughter on. Sorry, I didn't catch your name, but um, Stephanie. You can tell us more, Stephanie, you can tell us more stories about Harry. Oh, I've got oh, plenty. <laughs> Sounds like you can make a sketch show of his life, couldn't you? Do you know what? We'd, we've laughed about this before because, yeah, you just couldn't make it up. It's far-fetched. But just before we all go, I t so I like I said, I'm just as accident-prone as he is. Um, I had a friend round once and we was playing hide and seek and dad had borrowed a cement mixer that had a cover over it. So I hid under there. I saw dad's feet walk past as I was hiding. I was just sort of chuckling because he didn't know that I was there. And he was trying to get in the garage door, but it got stuck. So in his infinite wisdom, he thought that using a hammer to hit the, the handle backwards was going to open the door. But all that happened was the handle fly, flew off, hit the house bounced onto the extension, hit the side of the garage, went down in front of the cement mixer and twatted me on the head. And obviously I went, ow! And then jumped up into the cement mixer, run through the side door, ripped my little toenail off on the carpet, managed to slam my thumb in the door. And by the time I got to mum, I was like, mum, 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 mum. And she was like, what has happened? And Dad came in, he was like, it was amazing. I just couldn't, he said, I just saw this, this door knock go like, ding, 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 and then heard an owl. And then Stephanie come running out. <laughs> that is a one in a thousand thing to Yeah, he was just like, I couldn't believe it. I just watched it, and then I heard an owl, and then you come running out. So I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh, terrific. Oh. Anyway, lovely to meet you all. I'm going to head off. Okay, Vlada. Yeah. And you, all right. catch up with you yeah. soon. Nice to meet you. Thank you. you again. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you all. And, um, nice you. to meet you. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Your yeah. story. Bye -bye. Take care. Right, I'm going to drop you all right. down now. Okay. So, uh, and then just wind up the show. Yeah. Well, I think um, tonight has been. A little bit on the emotional side. It's been, it's been fun. It's been great, just reminiscing uh, about my great mate Harry, Stephen Harry Meekums. We're going to be missed. We're, um, we'll say, we can't say we're looking forward to, but we'll we'll give you a, a damn good send off, my old mate. And um, yeah, you silly bugger. You shouldn't have got up on the roof in the first place. You should have known better. But there you go. Anyway, same time, same place next week. If you like what we do, um, you want to join in the show, you're most welcome to, to ping me uh, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll send you out the link. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you all again, same time, same place next week. Thirsty Thursday live stream with me, your... The Thanks. Tim Heal Thirsty Thursday live stream from 7 until 9 weekly. Here's your host, Tim Heal.